Hey guys, I'm out here on a construction site in Northeast Texas to see the real Big Rigs number three truck, which I was told would show up soon. Later on, I will talk about the model of that beautiful Peterbilt that DCP made. Before we get into it, please become one of my 64th gear jammers by subscribing to my channel for more great diecast and resin model reviews and grab my free report on tips for value in your collection with the link in the description below. The Hammett family operates Hammett Excavation based out of Dodge City, Texas. Hammett Excavation has been in operation since 1963, specializing in landfill work, new construction sites, mining, and subdivisions. Risking everything, Harry Hammett started the company back in 1963 with an old B-bottle Mac truck, a Cat D7 bulldozer, and a short tandem axle low boy, which he used to haul his D7 around from job to job. For the next 24 years, Harry Hammett did all sorts of work. Back then, he had a saying that never a job too small and not a job too big. So Harry, he cleared brush and timber from construction sites, dug ponds, graded house pads, did any and all kinds of excavation work. He followed an old axiom, an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. With that motto, the family business started to grow. In 1987, Harry's son joined the company, and then more growth occurred for him. So Harry had to add another Cat D7 dozer to keep up. But growth didn't stop there. It kept coming. In fact, it grew so well that by the 2000s, the company had 30 employees and more equipment, including track hoes, more bulldozers, tractors, scrapers, a few off-road dump trucks, and other equipment necessary to run a successful excavation company. As their old B Model Mac was wearing out, Harry and his son had acquired a 1985 R Model Mac to move the equipment around. A few years later, they realized the need for another truck, so they bought a used 1996 Kenworth W900 to use as a heavy haul truck. As predicted, Hammond Excavation outgrew its Dodge City territory and expanded outward toward Dallas Fort Worth to the southwest and Tulsa and Oklahoma City areas to the north. Galen's, that's Harry's son, became the owner and the president of the company in 2014. After Galen took over the company, he remembered his father's slogan, never a job too small and not a job too big, and he ran the company by it. He expanded the operation into earthwork for landfill projects, site preparation for large subdivisions, building new roads, and GPS finished grading. Hammond Excavating does about everything. Galen's son, Caleb, he grew up around trucks and equipment and decided to join the family business. And he began working full time. But well, the back figures, just when I was about to talk about the truck, he pulls off. I hope Caleb comes back so I can show off the beautiful interior. The company needed another heavy haul truck, so Galen and Caleb decided to build a truck to honor Harry. Remembering what Harry always said, you need to have a dressed up truck to move your equipment around and you need to look professional. That gave them the idea to build that fancy show truck. Jake Linda moved in Irving, Texas known for building custom show trucks, was asked if he and his crew would be willing to build something special for him. <laughs> yes was the answer. So Galen ordered a 2017 Peterbilt 389 glider kit with a double frame and a pusher axle in the fall of 2016. The charcoal metallic gray rig with a viper red frame was sent to the boys over at Lindemoo. The rebuild of the Peak 389 was completed in 2017, 
just in time for the Great American Trucking Show in Dallas, Texas, where it won Best Interior, Best Paint, and First Place in Class. Since the show, the truck has been used as a regular working truck, moving the Hammett Company equipment from site to site. Now guys, let's go on and talk about the model of that beautiful truck that DCP made. And this guys is the Peterbilt 389 triaxle with heavy floats on the front and triaxle uh, magnitude low boy by Fontaine. It is in the Hammett excavation colors and it is their show truck. Now I'm starting off with it out of the box this time instead of in the box. So we'll go on and talk about the vehicle and then I'll put it back in the box at the end. And you can see what it looks like all packaged up. It is Big Rigs series number three. Now let's go on and start off with the trailer. I haven't talked about a magnitude uh, low boy yet. And there it is. It's in a body matched gray to go with the tractor. It's a Fontaine magnitude. It has the Hammett excavating logos on the, on it. It has its DOT striping. It has simulated wood plank for that decking. And it does have its little outriggers. And you can see that they do flop, come out. Unfortunately, they just kind of flop in the breeze. So it's not the best design that ever was. But each one of them does come out. And be careful with them because they will actually pop out. It rides on 10 hole chrome wheels with a slightly lower profile tire, which is more traditional for a low boy. Individual suspension on each axle. It has uh, reflector mark reflectors and marker lights there and up in the front. We turn it up. You can see the workings, which runs the hydraulics to raise and lower the trailer when they go to unhook it. Also, the gooseneck does come off. It just pushes right in there and it pops right off. And then it hangs on two hooks on that rod. And you can see the hooks right there. Really simple, easy mechanism. However, be careful with them because it is kind of loose and it will just pop off on its own. So be careful holding these trailers. It has the loops so you could put on either their stinger or a flip axle to make this a four axle if you want. It has all the warning tampos that are supposed to be there and up on the gooseneck. Underneath, it's just all painted. It has a date of manufacture of 25120, so the 251st day of 2020. And this truck was actually run short they didn't run nearly as many of this big rig series as the other ones, so they came and went really fast. It has air brake canisters on each axle. Around to the back, and you can see it has the brake lights, which are red, the turn signals, which are amber, and they also, on the real one, would flash as warning lights, and you can see the three um, clearance lights back there. The tires have a very nice tread on them, to look like a nice trailer tread. Up on top, again, you can see that deck and the trailer tread. The uh, other side, it looks exactly the same. It has a standard kingpin for DCP and first gear trailers and their tractors. So it'll hitch up to any DCP or first gear tractor. It'll also hitch up to the Neo scale models and the Advantage diecast tractors. On the front, you can see more warning tampos, which are probably actually decals on this one, but there they are. So you have all your warning methods. Now for a low boy, how they would load it is they take the gooseneck, they drop it off, they unhook, and then they pull the truck forward with the goose hitched that way. And they just load on right that like that, and they would back up. And now these don't hook up like the real ones, but they simulate the idea. And there you go. That's the Fontaine Magnitude Low Boy for Hammett. And now let's look at the tractor. Isn't that paint job beautiful? 
It is the uh, gray with the red stripes and then the white pinstriping. It's got Hammond Excavation Company on it, and it's got the USDOT down on the uh, battery box step. Fuel tanks are body matched with comb bands. They put a little red trim on the triple hump fenders, 10-hole chrome wheels on the rear with duals, and 10-hole chrome floats on the front, the extra wides. Has chrome straight stacks with the 45-degree miter on the top, and it has chrome mirrors. Round to the front, it has a chrome Texas drop bumper, chrome grill, the big Peterbilt logo right there above the grill, the 389 style arrow headlights, the bird, which goes up on the hood ornament, which is your grab bar so you can pull the hood open because it is tilt hood. It's got the seam right down the center. This truck has a white, well, it's a really light gray, almost white interior, which isn't right for the truck, but that's what they put in it. It's hidden behind the um, clear windshield, and it's got the windshield wipers. Also, there's a black steering wheel inside. There's a body-matched visor up top and the multiple roof clearance lights with clear or with white lenses on them. Round to the passenger side, here we go. It has the turbo air intakes on both sides. The passenger's door has the little window so that the driver can see out. It has a unibuilt tampo right there on the sleeper. And it has the 60 inch flat top. There is the uh, door to go into the sleeper and then there's a little vent. Same wheels, same fenders, and all the rest is the same. Mirrors are chrome and it's got the same uh, steps. Heading around to the back, it has a different rear bumper. It has a little bumper that has the brake lights and clearance lights, and they're all tampoed in white. So are the lights that are on the back of the sleeper, and they put a bunch of them. Eight on each side, two, two rows of uh, two. It has the pogo stick, and on the back window, on the back window, it has the in loving memory of Harry Hammett. And because this truck was dedicated to Harry Hammett, very, very nice detail. And the Hammett Excavation logo back there. It has the full deck plate up there, as you can see, the full deck plate. And then you can also see it has a chrome plated fifth wheel. That really stands out. They also gave you a fifth wheel cover in the package. Underneath, powered rear axles and a tag axle. There's air brake canisters and drive shafts. Bottom of the engine detail and it's painted uh, body matched gray. You can see the exhaust coming out and it has steering on this one. However, it doesn't really steer. It should, but it doesn't. Them floats make it very hard. You can also see how they're extra wide. And it has a different tread pattern on that float. A real nice rugged tread pattern, which you'd find on an off-road, more of an off-road type truck, a dump truck, or a, uh, well, low boy hauler who's going out in the fields. Now, the hood does tilt, so I'll go on and tilt it up. You can see under the hood, the engine is body matched gray. We've got chrome piping for the air intake and the turbo. It's got the radiator there and all the fancy details. Over on this side, you'll be able to see the uh, turbocharger and the other parts under the hood. Really nice detail they put in there. Now we'll hitch them back up and I'll put something on it so you can see what she really looks like with a load. And what I've got to put on here is a first gear Komatsu Traco, the PC210 LC Traco. Show you exactly what it looks like with a really nice piece of equipment sitting on there.
There we go. That is the Peterbilt 389 with Fontaine Magnitude Low Boy for Hammett Excavation. Their custom show truck hauling a Komatsu PC210LC excavator. It is in First Gear's Big Rig Series and it is number three. Now I'll go on and put it back in the box so that you can see what it looks like in the box. It comes in the two-piece blister, which is normally taped. Obviously, I cut the tape so I could get it out earlier. And then the blister just slips on top. Before I put it back in the box, I'm going to show you here. It comes with flags, uh, tie-downs, fifth wheel cover, and extra mirrors. You can see them in that little package. Really nice. And the fifth wheel cover is the red that matches the trim on the truck and the frame. That beautiful red. The inside of the box has the uh, mural piece on it and it comes with a certificate of authenticity. It's got Adam Knight's signature and Caleb Hammett, the transportation manager at Hammett Excavation Signature. Certifies that this was a 750 piece run. Also there's some instructions in there to go with the low boy and how to operate it and tie things down. And being able to put these guys back in their box is why you should always keep the box. That way you can move them uh, safely, or if you want to sell them, you can sell them easily. And there it is in the box. Real drivers, big rigs, show trucks. Ages 14 and up. We've got a little cutout in each end. And then the back has pictures of the real truck carrying that same Komatsu, actually. And it has info on Hammett Excavation. There's an interior shot of the sleeper and the cab. Underneath, info about DCP by first gear, and then you have your item number. 69-0900. Big Rigs, number three. The Peterbilt 389 with magnitude low boy for Hammett Excavation. Hey, there goes Caleb back, and he's empty. I guess he dropped off that Komatsu dozer further on down the road cut for more ripping ahead of the street. I know, he loves to show off this truck, so maybe he'll let us see inside. Wow, isn't this beautiful? I can see why he won first prize for best interior at Gats. Show trucks are sweet and make such cool models to put in our collection. This P389 for Amit Excavating is no exception and would totally enhance your collection both in aesthetics and value. For more info on how you can add items to your collection that are going to add future value, please grab my report on tips for valuing your collection with the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Logan Skeel, the founder of Advantage Diecast. And I'll be back in the Southside Warehouse soon with another episode of Toy Talk.